Let's get it over to Bloomberg News, a senior government editor on the line from uh, Hanoi, Martin Shenko. Great to have you. Uh, just getting your reaction to these developments, we'll be talking about clearly this element of surprise and, and how quickly they moved on doing this. Well, I think it was pretty well acknowledged that Donald Trump was going to have to take a stand here because he has uh, declared this uh, act that crossed many lines. And there were many competing interests, uh, plus his campaign rhetoric that he had to overcome. But he has acted decisively. And it's not just at a, as a humanitarian thing, but it's also sending a message to the world that there are certain lines you cannot cross. And uh, North Korea and the Russians will also take notice of this. Uh, yeah, and clearly we just have these lines crossing now that Senators McCain and Graham saying that the U.S. signal that it won't stand idly by uh, as these things happen uh, to, to civilians. They're also saying that Trump, uh, unlike Obama, a little bit of a pointed criticism there, is taking action at a pivotal, a pivotal time, I should say. Uh, I mean, this is clearly the, the, the action of an administration, a president who takes action first rather than taking the kind of more methodical, uh, thought-out approach that we've come to know from. From the Obama administration? Well, I, I do think that, uh, you know, the Obama administration was considered in some circles to be much more reticent to get involved in military actions abroad, having had the uh, experience of Afghanistan and Iraq uh, in, their, in their sights. And I think Donald Trump, to a certain extent, is free from those restrictions and that mindset. Um, but, of course, you know, the campaign rhetoric being what it was, Donald Trump constantly criticizing the Obama administration for their failure to act in Syria. I think he was basically obliged to do something here. And there was speculation that he might not, but he has acted, in my view, very definitively and quickly, as you say, to basically fulfill a promise that uh, he will not stand by and watch inhumane actions by this Syria administration. So it's, it's very interesting. It puts him uh, on a path of uh, conflict with Russia, and everybody, as you know, thinks that there's some connection between Putin and Trump that can't be explained. But this basically tells the Russians we're, we're going to be involved, and you cannot take action without us. So it's important yeah. on, that, on that score as well. Yeah, yeah, Marty, I'm glad you bring up Russia because, I mean, so far it's just one strike, a surgical, you know, singular action, if you will. But they're talking about right. a complete strategy that needs to be followed through with. Uh, when do we see a response from Russia or other parties, Israel, for example? Well, it's, you know, very interesting. If you remember early in the administration, the uh, before actually Donald Trump took office, the Obama administration uh, threw out, 30-some-odd diplomats out of Washington, and Russians very publicly said, we're not going to react to that because there's an incoming Trump administration, and that was seen as a gesture of hope and uh, potential for improved relations with the Russians. So it'll be very interesting to see what the Russian response is to this. If they basically stand back um, and allow for discussions with the Trump administration on a some sort of political settlement in Syria, it will be viewed as a, an important step. Um, but if the Russians take a belligerent stance, and don't forget, you know, there are Russians in the ground there. Um, these strikes were surgical, but you never know what collateral damage could be. So um, this is going to play out in the next day or two. The Russian response is going to be very, very interesting and actually no one really knows what it will be.